channel so this is gonna be my first ever video that I'm gonna be posting I'm gonna make for you guys an orange crepe cake with chocolate fillings inside the reason why I came up with a dessert is because I really love eating crepes so we're gonna start with the milk I'm just gonna pour it in the bowl so what's great with this recipe is just that it's just actually one bowl no cleaning up so many different things everything can be done in just one bowl so the base of the crepe Similar to pancake, it's really just milk. Okay, and next is our eggs. So we're gonna use four eggs. So I'm gonna zest my orange. I'm using the one that you can find for, it's like a bar tool, because I like to see the orange zest and they're much bigger. And when you see your crust, you'll have bigger flecks of the orange peel. So you can juice it later and you'll have orange juice. Slowly mix it. I'm gonna add my butter that I've melted. There we go. This is a full creamy butter. If you can see the fatty sediments there. You're probably gonna have to mix this vigorously because the butter and the milk have to mix. Just put a teaspoon of vanilla. Next, the secret ingredient. Orange quantum. This is really my secret ingredient. This batter. Two tablespoons, which is almost a shot. Let's just add some more. And just mix. Okay, next is one cup of flour. Mix it in. Then you just mix it until there are no lumps. So I just added a little bit of. Sugar. Okay, so I'm just mixing it until there are no lumps, and then we're just gonna rest our batter. So in France, there are actually two different types of crepes. A crepe is usually just a sweet one, and a galette is the one for savory. And the galettes are the one that are usually made with buckwheat, so it's a dark flour, and that's the one that they usually use to make savory crepes. I grew up eating crepes, so I do have a crepe pan. So it's a flat, it's a flat edge pan. But if you don't have one, you can always use any frying pan. Make sure that it's a coated frying pan so that it doesn't really stick to your pan. Okay, so half a cup. So as you can see, this is the batter. It's been resting for 30 minutes. You can see the beautiful orange zest inside. That's what you want. Okay, your first crepe is always gonna be the one funny looking. Dory, um, it could always be the bottom layer, no one's gonna see it. So you know it's done cooking on one side because you can lift it up with a spatula. You can see it's slightly thicker than what you're usually gonna be use. Flip it over and wait till the other side cooks. So you know it's done when you can just move your crepe. Since we're doing a cake, we're gonna need at least 15 layers. Since we're done with the crepe, I'm letting it rest and letting it cool, I'm gonna start doing the cream filling in between. What I didn't specify ahead was that it's a Nutella cream crepe cake. I'm gonna just mix whipping cream and Nutella. So this is my cream. You can use all-purpose cream if you want. The best is to use whipping cream. I'm just gonna whip it. I'm gonna add some powdered sugar. So medium speed and just mix. And then I'm going to add my Nutella. Nutella. Mm. 
Mmm, really, really good. Okay, so you remember that orange that I used for the zest? Well, I'm gonna make a glaze with it. So you take your orange, roll it a little bit loose in the juice, grab your knife. And just juice. You're not gonna really make a lot, so one orange is enough. This is a simple glaze where I'm just gonna add powdered sugar. For the ratio, it's usually two is to one, so two cups of powdered sugar to one cup of juice. And you just mix it. Mix, 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 mix. Just get rid of the lumps and then you're good. So we'll start with our first layer of crab. Just use a spoon and with the back of the spoon just spread. The other layer. I'm gonna top it off with some cacao nibs. So cacao nibs are basically the beans that are crushed, are roasted and crushed. And it's a really strong flavor of chocolate. So this is what I'm putting on top because I like to have a little crunch in my dessert. Just like when you're putting makeup on, you're just gonna put powder. Well, I'm gonna put some cocoa powder for a finished touch. Then you have a chocolate crab cake. Now it's time to eat. Bon appétit!